What's going on guys? It's Juan, aka Helene with The Game Review. On this episode on The Game Review, we are going over Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which the people have been arguing, saying it's the best Resident Evil game compared to its previous predecessors. But why is that? They're the same game franchise. They also both have zombies. Well... That's not fair, I had zombies too. Yes, you did. Yes, you had zombies. But this is zombie redneck torture family, see? They're entirely separate species. It's like the difference between an elephant and an elephant seal. Okay. But there's always next year. So let's break it down. The story. You play as a man named Ethan who is looking for his missing wife, Mia. Mia's been missing for three years and out of nowhere emails him her exact location which leads him to the countryside in a mansion. No spoilers here, so we're moving on to the next. Voice acting. You can't capture a great story without great voice acting. It gives you the ability to feel the emotions of the characters and also build a relationship with them. Whether it's love, hate, or most important, fright. Next, graphics. Nothing like being able to see the full detail of a horror game like gunshot wounds, blood, dead bodies, and just creepy crawlers everywhere. Also, just stunning visuals of scary, creepy environments. Now, last but not least, let's talk about what really matters, gameplay. You find weapons ranging from knives, guns, and my personal favorite, the flamethrower. But there's a catch. Ammo, fuel, and usable items are limited and not easy to come across. So every shot and item counts, so use them wisely. But what if you have no weapons? Well, the game also contains interactive surroundings like cool puzzles that help you when you're running for your life, or slow you down and get you killed. So move fast and be careful. In conclusion, it is a great game overall, with plenty of things that bring chills down your spine with a good mystery behind it all. So if you're into horror and survival games, check it out. You won't regret it, unless you're already scared. Looks like we ran out of lives, so you know what that means, man. Game over. So thank you for watching the game review. Hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button. Take it easy.